Hey Disc Golf Nerds, it's Antonio here with another disc review today. Today we're looking at the Berg by Cast the Plast. I got two Bergs here. Both of them are K1 plastic. This is Glow though, and this is just the regular sort of translucent K1 by Cast the Plast. Uh, both of these are in my bag and I use them a lot for various things. I use this translucent pink Berg uh, for drives off the tee. I, I find that it flies a little bit straighter, but still has that Berg uh, slight overstable finish at the end. This one is a Glow, and I find it to be a little bit more overstable, so that's kind of why I use it as a approach disc after a drive. Bergs are pretty uh, unique in their own way. If you look here, you see that it's a pretty blunt edge, right? It's pretty flat, and that definitely makes it different than a lot of other putters, which are still rounded, but flatter edge and that's why it has a speed one you really got to juice these bergs if you want them to go anywhere so it's really a disc where the power you put into it is kind of the power you're going to get out of it another thing that makes the bergs kind of unique is that it has a sort of thumb track on it uh, but it's a little bit different than other discs that have a thumb track like uh, the end of a pig or a rhino whereas you have really high edges here and then the plate of the disc actually dips down so you have this natural thumb placement for a backhand, but also for forehand, it fits really nice in the crevice of your thumb. So with the Berg, it's pretty much a brick. Like I said before, whatever you put into it, you're gonna get out of it. And with that being said, the line you throw it on, it's gonna hold that line as well. All right guys, so here we are at uh, Brazos Park, uh, the beast as it's called here in Waco, Texas. And I'm going to start by throwing the Berg on a flat line and just seeing it. We do got a little bit of wind today, so that will definitely affect the flight. But it will be great because very rarely do we ever play around a disc golf with no wind. Alrighty guys, so that's the Berg on an Anheuser line. I'm actually kind of glad I hit the tree there because you saw its ability to fight through branches and leaves and things that would typically mess up another putter on a throw. The Berg has the ability to fight through because it's a literal brick. That second throw got it turned over a little bit too much, especially with this wind, just kind of turned into a thrower and uh, just kind of rolled out and settled down. That's the Berg, guys. I strongly recommend you go and check one out. I got an email a couple days ago from Infinite Discs, and based, I think it was either the year or the quarter, the Berg was one of the top 20 selling discs on Infinite Discs. So it's a great disc. A lot of people are using it, and they're finding that it's a, uh, a great putt approach disc. Uh, you don't really hear about a lot of people using it as their putter, but as an approach disc, it's great. It doesn't slide um, unless you roll a thrower, it won't really roll on you either, and it's not really going to skip a whole lot. Pretty much where it lands is where it's going to stick, even on mulch or gravel. So it's a great disc, guys. Go ahead and check it out on Infinite Discs or on their website. Learn, learn about them a little bit more. All right, until next time, guys, go bang some chains.